It's been an interesting couple of days because Wednesday was supposed to be Jim Harbaugh aw, landing in Minnesota. Just a formality. He's going to take the job. He's going to win a dozen drone parties in the next 10 years. And then it fell apart. And then Kevin O'Connell, come on down. You're the next head coach of the Minnesota Fighting Vikings. And we already got the reports that the Vikings did not offer Harbaugh the job. Got that from uh, Pelissero and Schefter and uh, all the insiders. And now... Jim Harbaugh finally spoke. He talked to Mitch Album of the Detroit Free Press. Tuesday was a Maury. What up? And, of course, Harbaugh, uh, I respect Harbaugh because I actually thought that he was going to put a little spin on it because, hey, Michigan, I'm back, baby. This is the job I've always wanted. I turned down Minnesota. But, no, I mean, reading between lines, he basically just came out and said they didn't offer me the job. But a little bit of a spin, a little bit of phraseology. Here's what he said. Uh, Chad Graff put this together uh, from the article. For better or worse, it was something I want to explore. Harbaugh looking for an NFL job with the Vikings. I went in thinking, I'm going to have 100% conviction on this. And if they, Minnesota, have 100% conviction on this, then it's something I'm going to do. So it's clearly uh, clear the Vikings did not have 100% conviction. And that lines up with what, uh, like, Courtney Cronin and Ben Gessling have been reporting, that Harbaugh came into the interview thinking, hey, this is a coronation. This is a formality. I just have to sign on the dotted line. We'll be in and out in 10 minutes. But no, like it was an actual interview. And uh, it, it was said that it followed the same format as Patrick Graham on Tuesday, where it was a nine-hour freaking interview. You know, talking about X, Y, Z. Here is your plan. Here is your vision. Here's what you want to do. Here's what you want to do this. Nah. Uh, but uh, like many uh, job interviews somewhere in the process, he got a sinking feeling. It was all good. A first-class operation, he said, first-class people, but there wasn't an equal match of enthusiasm. And for a man whose catchphrase is an enthusiasm unknown to mankind, well, that stuff matters. Where, yeah, where uh, I think that there was a breakdown in communication at some point. Uh, part of it was on Harbaugh. Actually, Part of it's on the Vikings. It, it, it is where if it, it wasn't made crystal clear that this is an interview and nothing more, this is not a job offer uh, just because you're flying in, which is a massive step for a college coach, especially on National Signing Day, doesn't mean that you're getting the job. And if that wasn't properly conveyed uh, between ownership and Quasi to Harbaugh, then that's a little bit on the Vikings. But I think what it probably is more. That Jim Harbaugh, super enthusiastic, saw this as like, he, I think he did see it as that major step. It's like, all right, I'm flying on a plane. I'm leaving Ann Arbor. I'm going into a National Football League interview, and I'm getting that job because my resume speaks for itself. And then when it turned out it was an actual interview, then not, maybe not so much. Uh, so it, it didn't work out there. But from the sounds of things, uh, of course, it's always going to be reverse engineered and sp spun around that Kevin O'Connell was the guy all along. Although it, during the process, it did seem like he was a very strong candidate uh, despite his relatively thin CV. So, yeah, I'm fired up about the notorious KOC. It would have been fun with Harbaugh, but in the end, it didn't work out. And a couple years down the road, it may have worked out for uh, the better because maybe Kevin O'Connell is the next Sean McVay, is the next Zach Taylor, is the next... 12 year old boy and maybe they get things done they find themselves a future franchise quarterback and then they're cinched together uh for the next decade plus where harbaugh who knows what harbaugh would have done i mean his record in the nfl speaks for itself yes vikings could have won some games uh but didn't work out it is what it is and like i said i have zero hard feelings towards harbaugh zero hard feelings towards michigan i'll root for them except for when they played the stupid gophers uh so We'll move on from there. And like I said, everything happens for a reason. No, Torius, KOC. Let's go, man. Uh, but your thoughts are our thoughts. Harbaugh speaks out. Mitch Album, Detroit Free Press. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.